Today's morning minute, kingdom living is the fruit, is the fruit of the mouth. You will eat, you will eat what you speak. Your mouth is the engine by which you bear fruit in your life. What fruit are you speaking into your life? Are you speaking life or death from your mouth? You have a choice as to what you speak. You may, you may be sick, you may have a headache, you may be emotionally burdened, yet what you speak will steer your direction. Are you speaking into your life what God says? Are you allowing your emotions, feelings, and body to speak? Or are you allowing the Spirit of God in you to speak? When you allow the Spirit of God in you to speak, all heaven will open up for you. Jesus said in Matthew 15, verses 10 and 11, Jesus called the crowd to him and said, Listen and understand. What goes into a man's mouth does not make him unclean. But, but, what comes out of his mouth, that is what makes him unclean. From the fruit of his mouth, a man's stomach is filled. With the harvest from his lips, he is satisfied. And in Proverbs 18, 20, 21, the tongue has the power of life and death, and those who love it will eat its fruit. He who guards his mouth and his tongue keeps himself from calamity, Proverbs 21, 23. And in Matthew 12, verses 33 to 37, make a tree good and its fruit will be good, or make a tree bad and its fruit will be bad, for a tree is recognized by its fruit. You brood of vipers, how can you who are evil say anything good? For out of the overflow, the overflow of the heart, the mouth speaks. The good man brings good things out of the good stored up in him. And the evil man brings evil things out of the evil stored up in him. But I, but I tell you that men will have to give an account on the day of judgment for every careless word they have spoken. For by the words you will be acquitted, and by your words you will be condemned. And we read in Proverbs 13, verses 2 and 3, From the fruit of his lips a man enjoys good things, but the unfaithful have a craving for violence. He who guards his lips, mouth, guards his life, but he who speaks harshly, rashly, will come to ruin. And in Proverbs 15, 23, a man finds joy in giving an apt reply, and how good is a timely word. Have faith in God, Jesus answers. I tell you the truth, if anyone says to this mountain, go, throw yourself in the sea, and does not doubt in his heart, but believes what he, that what he says will happen, it will be done for him. And in Romans 10, verses 8 and 10, but what does it say? The word, the word is near you, it is in your mouth, and it's in your heart. That is the word of faith we are proclaiming, that if you confess, that if you confess with your mouth, Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For it is with your heart, it is with your heart you believe and are justified, and it is with your mouth, with your mouth that you confess you are saved. Amen and amen.